Hello, this is Feta121, and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. And we get a Stone Beast Thorn for opening that chest. I don't think I'll ever use a Stone Beast Thorn, but it's there, I guess. Alright, yeah, we have a new enemy here in back. This is an id. Uh, yeah, he's a spirit magic type enemy, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill all these bats and then show him off. Or actually, you know what? Screw it. I'll just kill the bats. Easy to take out. Night flyers, whatever you want to call them. And pretty much, yeah, th that's all the enemies in this area. I've showed them off already. Pretty much you're just going to be encountering groups of, like, night flyers and annoying enemies like that. Okay, yeah, this should be good for this guy. And I don't even want a chance casting magic on this thing, <laughs> to be quite honest. I don't know if it counters with the same spell or, or what's going on with it. doesn't counter physical attacks. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll just defend with Cook. Prisma? Ooh, this could hurt. Ow. Bastard. Pretty resistant to both physical and magical attacks. Okay, Cook learned level 4 white magic. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, cycling out my mortal characters from time to time to uh, get them a few levels. That way they don't lag too far behind because they do learn useful skills as they level up. And, oh, another dream, huh? Alright, okay. And yeah, that's... And off-screen this one, of course. Okay then, uh, what's up here? Anything? Anything at all? Oh, apparently we can jump across. It's kind of interesting, I guess. Why is there no music in this cave? Because they thought it would be more creepy without music or something, or... I don't know. You get three giant feeders, or feelers, or some kind of crap. Yep, more components. And what is over here? Apparently another chest. Alright, we get a seed? How many of those do I have, anyways? A curiosity. Okay, I got 12 of them. I think that's about right, actually. Um... Okay, that's the way out. I don't know if I have all the stuff in this place yet. Okay, let's explore this way over here. And as you can see, it, there's a wind tunnel here. But, yeah, I think we can get past it pretty easily. Sort of. Kind of. And is there anything over here? Oh, apparently there is. Alright, we get goddess medicine. And I think that's all you can find in this area, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go up this way and uh, come around. Well, jump, because I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the mini map instead of where I'm at. Alright, let's keep going. 
right, we are we are in the foul, foul swamp area, huh? Kind of sounds dangerous. Sounds kind of nasty too. What's that thing? It's all lit up. Uh, it's called a firefly. Damn it! Have you ever seen a firefly before, Jansen? Yeah, these fireflies are gonna be pretty much mandatory to get through this place. A lot of pitfalls that you can't see without having a firefly. So, yeah, once you get a firefly, it basically is on your shoulder until uh, it gets blown off by wind. That can happen because of the wind tunnels in this place. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be gonna be making use of that. Is there anything over here? Yeah, in, in case you're wondering, yeah, the, you, you will take damage if you uh, walk in the swamp there. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to examine that again. Um, yeah. Sort of tricky to navigate through this area because... Yeah, you don't want to spend too much time in the swamp, because, well, that's bad. It can hurt you, obviously. Uh, well, let's go this way. And, yeah, I get stuck on the freaking rock. Anyways, if we come over here, we can pick up something. And it's a lousy 500 gold. But whatever, it's there. Alright, I think it's time to get one of those bugs again. Yeah, gotta go get our bug friend. Help us out, you know. Show us where pitfalls might be. Uh, yeah, you gonna come with? There you go. And we're gonna go this way now, I think. And get stuck because we can't go up that way. Okay, whatever. Guess we're not going to go that way for now. Uh, ooh, what is this? Well, jump. Okay, I guess we can't get through there right now. There's a chest over here we can get. Get a power drink. I haven't even used one of those yet. Don't really need to use them, actually. Alright, I guess we're gonna head in this direction now because I think we have everything we can get in this room in the immediate future. I mean, obviously there's more treasure we can get, I think, but... I think we have to kind of ha fall down like a pitfall or something crazy like that. Okay, the Great Hall of Foul Creatures, apparently. That's where we're at now. Interesting. What? Ooh. Uh, what? Oh, be quiet. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just keep going here. And... Did I didn't... I don't think I actually wanted to go this way yet, game. wonder how the hell that happened. Go back. Okay, that's the hell trap. A lot of pitfalls in that room there. Come on. Hurry up and load. God! Takes forever. Okay, what is this way? Aha, a chest. And we get the scroll of dissection. What is this? Cut down inflicts damage on enemy front row and reduces enemy guard. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll equip that. 
for now. <clears throat> On time, anyways. So we can start learning it. Yeah, that is pretty good. Okay, pitfall there, as you can see. Yeah, one of these pitfalls, I actually do want to fall down. Yeah, you want to be careful in this area, because you don't want to just run into a pitfall on accident. Brings us around the other side, but okay, whatever. Somehow I get the feeling I'm missing something, but you know, whatever. It happens. And what is this? Well, this has got to lead to something. Yeah, it does. Leads to a chest. And we get the refresh a spell. All right. But yet, we no longer have our bug, because he just got blown away, so if we fall down a pitfall here, well, not much we can do about it, actually, because we can't see it, it's too dark. And yeah, here's one of the uh, stone slabs for a future character, future party member. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. Yes, I am. Oops. Was I supposed to fall down this one? Yeah, as you can see, it puts us all the way back here. Good stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. Very annoying, actually. Well, whatever. Let's go back. Alright, I backtracked to this part of the Black Cave, because this is pretty much where I was before. I fell down a pitfall, and, uh, yeah, let's try and get through this area now. Might be kind of tricky to navigate through this. <coughs> okay. Yeah, there's a couple pitfalls here, actually, I think. Yeah, well, there's one right there, anyways. And what is over here? Oh, we already went over there. Durr. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. I barely didn't even see that. I was looking at the mini-map. Okay, what is... Examine. Oh, yeah, that's where you can get more fireflies or whatever. Where does this go? Oh, okay. Shortcut. Alright, so we can actually use this to uh, come back to this area then. Because, yeah, that'll take us right back to the beginning of the cave. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, I know I'm skipping most of the random battles, but... If I didn't... It would take me forever to get through this place. It'd take me, like, a bunch of videos. Um, shit. I think we go this way now. Yeah, let's just go this way now, I guess. Uh, where does this take us? Takes us to a corner where we can get blinding powder. And. Okay, come down this way now. Okay. Alright, well this leads us to a save point, but... Yeah, I... I'm not done exploring this place yet. Oh, a chest. 
Yeah, it might, might be nice to get this. Alright, we get a seed. And be right back. Alright, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the next episode, we will continue to find the items that uh, either I missed or I haven't got to yet in this area. And uh, so on and so forth. This is Vettel121. See you next time.